today we get to go to a movie screening, which means we get to see the movie before everybody else. Usually the way it works when you go to a pre-screening, it's in an office building where there's probably a private screening room. So you know me, this is what I look like always <laughs> before any event. As you can see, it's a little bit of a transformation again. So we're driving there right now. Like I said, always give yourself enough time so you're not rushing. Because sometimes with LA traffic, you just never know how long it's going to take or if you get lost and it's at a different location. The driving in LA can be very stressful, I'm you. We're about to get into the elevator. I'm about to switch my phone again because I just want to give you what it looks like behind the scenes that no one else gets to see. I have my notebook. I have my parking for they can validate it. So let's go inside. Oh, me voy por aquí? Sí, por oh. aquí, uh, nomás la L a mano izquierda. Ah, oh, ok, perfecto, gracias. Y cuando regresa, regresa aquí al P1. P1, ok, perfecto, gracias. Do you guys know where the money, movie screenings are? Right, over here this way? Um, Gina Moreno. Gina Moreno. Yeah, fabulous TV. Thank you. I was like. And it's for um, Bitter Harvest. Yes. Okay, great. Right inside. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Oh, perfect. We made it just on time. So I just finished watching the movie Bitter Harvest. I actually really loved it. It was really sad though. I cried. Um, it's basically about Ukraine and Stalin and how people went hungry during that time and died from starvation. So it's some pretty heavy topics. Um, but as you can see, this is the private screening room. I just wanted to show it to you guys. Like I said, I wanna give you guys the full behind the scenes view on what it looks like to be an entertainment reporter, going to private screenings, going and seeing the movies. Right. And now the next step is the press junket.